Welcome back to Grand Folk Talk with Patrice. We have been talking about relationships after 50, yes. and in my case, after 60. Yes. But you know, in our 20s, everything just seems so carefree. We didn't have a whole lot to worry about. No bills. Except no, no bills, no responsibilities. Yeah. But we, we, we went through some stuff in our relationships, the crazy times, I call them, the, oh, the crazy times, the stuff we put up with in our 20s. Yeah. I mean, I, the, 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 the advice I would give my younger self when I was in my 20s, it would take me forever. Don't it look that way. Me That's why I would have said exactly. to my young, Don't look Keep that way. Keep going, right? Go ahead. But so now at this stage in our lives and along the way, things have changed. Life has changed. Mm -hmm. Our responsibilities in some cases have gotten greater. Mm -hmm. And our responsibilities include, so we, the children grow up and they leave and then... Either they come back for whatever reason, or we then have our parents who are aging, who we then have to look out for. And we also have um, our health issues, maybe, as, as we're getting older. So how, how do we navigate that? Like, how, how are we making sure that these changes are not putting strains on our relationships and strains on our marriages, especially, I think, important is is when we have to care i hate to say it like have to care for but when when we are caring for our parents right. um obviously that's a conversation that has to be very clear on both parts with whatever the care looks like for our parents so how how do we do that and keep our our marriages intact and and also still thriving right i know for me um because caring for a parent is very important for me yes because i live with my grandmother okay so we as as a teenager we moved in with my grandmother who was blind at the time and so mm -hmm. we assisted in caring for my grandmother right. She died in the home, right? Okay. She passed in the home. And my mama, when my grandmother passed, my mother said, don't you put me in a home. Mm. I'm going to pass in my home. Okay. Okay. You know, so every now and then when she acts up, I'm putting you in a home. Oh, shady parents. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so for me, that that is something that was important to me. So yes. I don't even know if I was married, but I had that conversation with my boyfriend mm -hmm. at that point and say, right. how do you feel about um, your mother's ill. She um, is is in need of care. Right. Mm -hmm. My mom is still sprucey. Right. But at some point, she may not be that. Right. How do you feel about bringing because we're all bringing aging. your parents right. in the home and things like that? And so we had that conversation yes. earlier because I needed to know that's that was very important to me mm -hmm. that somebody understood if I have to bring my mother in my home, right. they're okay with it. And that if that was before you got married, yes. he had the opportunity and the right yes. to say, that's not something I exactly. would want, or that's not something I think I will prefer, exactly. or whatever the case is. And, and, and he should, and we should be able to say things like that without fear of judgment yeah. or without them thinking yes. about, you don't love me. If you ain't taking my mama yes. in or my daddy or whatever, regardless of what it is, I think we should be very clear and honest as opposed to, oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. And then when uh, it's not what we want. And then when they come, it's, it's uncomfortable for everybody. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And so you have to um, be able to have that conversation, yes. number one. Find out exactly what's going on right. with your spouse. Because you want to remember your spouse comes first. Yes. Right? That's so right. you want to respect that person. Okay. And so what if they say that that's not going to work for right. me? Right. Okay. So right. then what happens? Right. So then you have to work on a plan. Yeah. To ensure that your parents is still taken care Especially of. Especially if you're already married. Now, yes. if you're not married yet, that could be a deal breaker. It could be, yes. That could be, okay, well, marriage is not really going to work for us because I know without a doubt, I'm going to be bringing my mother, my father, right. or whomever into right. the house. And then, so maybe this is something we're putting off until later right. or whatever the case is. We're back to communication, aren't yes. we? Yes. We're back to communication and respect. Yes. Respecting the other person and not just assuming that, okay, all right, so look, next week, my mama's coming to live with us. You, you know what I mean? Room. Right, right. In fact, <laughs> we'll take the, the little room and we're going to put mama in the big room yes. or whatever the case yes. is. There has to be a conversation. And I, and I also think, too, it occurs with, I guess, how long you've been together. Because for me, personally, I can say my mom's always been in my life, right? right. Uh -huh. So she does everything with us anyway. And okay. she loves my husband. We've right. got a very good relationship. So to be honest, we met when I was 23. 
me. We never had that conversation when I first met him. Like 23 years old. Right. Exactly. Because your mama was it. still a young mom, lady. She's still spruce, right. right? And right. so she still thinks, she, don't tell her she's getting older, but she's yes. still spruce. Yes. So for her, she still thinks she could do everything we can yes. do. So we never, I never saw my mom as ill. And I'm, okay. I'm in my 50s and I still don't, I can't even imagine, although she's with me a lot between right. her and, and London. But one of the things I say is that I think that's a conversation that has to be had with your partner. And if they know who you are, I'm the person and everybody knows me. I take the nieces, the nephew. I, right. I love with all my heart. So I think my husband knows that. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things I think is good to show your partner is this is who you are. And, right. and if you've been together long enough, they know who you are. Right. So for me to say to my husband, oh my gosh, I'm going to bring, or it only be my nieces or somebody right. like that. And he'll look at me and say, not this again, but he knows yeah. that's my heart. That's what you do, right. So, but there he, still has to be a conversation, but, yes, but, even but, though but, he knows. But one right. of the things that happen is while we're there, we have meetings together. Yes. So the expect we do it together. Yeah. So the expectation and, and is, is this is what's going to happen. Right. And in even this, in this room, exactly. Right. So that's we it. do it together. It's not me saying, well, this is what's going to happen right. or else. No, it's his saying to me, now, how much time? You gave him a time? From right. and yes. da, da, da. Yes. So this, and then when it comes to the parents, my mom's with me more often, right? Yeah. But if his mom ever had to come, she could come because right. I love my husband and I yes. know that's his but mom. That's, it. that's yes. just how I was raised, right. Right? That's right? My dad doesn't live with me, but I'm the child that runs to everything. Yes. So no, I think once your partner knows who you are and how, what you represent, he knows I'll take him on a stranger if he let me. Right. That's where he won't let me. Right, right. But, you know, one of the things, and, and I would listen to him, yeah. but when it comes to our heart, he knows it would be very hard to say, for me to say, you can come. Right. I'd rather help than not. That's right. But one of the things I often say to people is, I have clients that have parents living with them. I have clients that have the, their partner's parents living. Right. Both parents telling them, dictating and all of that. Oh, That's a stressful ooh, situation ooh, for many. And it shouldn't, shouldn't be happening. And, and, but you know what? Out of respect for their partner, they're enduring all these things. But in the back of that, the marriage is crumbling. Crumbling, it's falling, falling, falling apart. apart. Because one... Think about it. If that's for all of us, when you knock off and you walk in your door, women, what do yes. we do? Snap, the snap the bar the and take it off. So, yes. and, and for the man, most times, it's take off the shirt right. and relax. But and when you have heads. people in your right. home, mm -hmm. right? You can't. You can't really do that. Even if children, both of my children's not in my home, they're adults. However, if they wanted to come back, I would want them to come back because I miss them. But anyway, um, that's another story. <laughs> they, put the they ran, they ran. They said, I'm tired of these rules. <laughs> but I said it to say, it gives you a freedom and everybody's not there that you yes, can have. But right. now when people come in your home and in your space, you got to wear clothes, you got to, you know, so then you're looking yeah. at and huffing and puffing. If my husband wants to fall asleep on the couch and watch yeah. TV with fall asleep, he's got to know my mom is coming out of the room, so he has to be that's have right. something on. That's you know, right. yeah, we yeah. can't have on our birthday suits. Right. You know, because right. the reality yeah. is that's what we'll do in our yeah, private if not, domain. Yeah. Okay. And so it's a lot we have to sacrifice. We have to sacrifice. If we're in our bedroom and we know the bear's knocking again, I'm being real. Yeah, it's knocking against it. Is. And if you know your mom, your cousin, your niece, your granny is outside. Oh Lord, you're holding on to that lady. <laughs> you know. So I say that to say like every night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I say that to say, we have to be yeah, so much more. Wake up in the morning. You heard that knocking? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is, this oh, is real stuff. Yeah, so yeah. can you imagine when you can't do all that's of that? Right. Yeah. So if your relationship ain't tight. That's a stress. Right. That's or right. if you can't have a quiet mouth. Right. Or if you can't just say, right? Guess what? You're going to start right. crumbling. And then throw so your finances. There's a lot that goes with that. Throw your finances. And the finances. And maybe the people who are coming with you, they can't take care of themselves right. financially. That's another story. So story. Then that burden. should also be a conversation yeah. that yes. you have. Yes. Even if people have separate yes. um, finances in their homes or whatever, there is there still should yes. be a conversation, conversation about how much is going to go in the care mm -hmm. for that person. Mm -hmm. that, that means, you know, the food bill goes up, the light bill Everything. may go up by $20 yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah. Regardless of what it is, there should always always be a conversation always. it should never be taken for granted and and it shouldn't just be one conversation because several mm -hmm. at the beginning the conversation may look like this yes, yes. but yes. the reality of right. it that's right right yeah. yeah and i might have said yes this, this yeah i can do this yes and then no, I can't. And then when they get there, we have this. a problem. I so the conversation this. should yeah. be ongoing. That yeah. should be ongoing. Than yeah. the right, that's the right. were 300 a week, and you was right. like, oh, they can stay, no problem. You give right. me 500 or 400 or 100, whatever your decision is. And then when you look, they'll give you $400. 
that's not even covering right. the light bill. Right. So right. now I exactly. change to say you're going to continue right. to have yes. that conversation. Yes. Right. How, correct. How, yeah. how are we going to address this? Mm-hmm. And, and and without fear of thinking, oh, they're going to think I don't want their mom right. here or right. they think I don't love them or right. whatever the case is, when it does right. not have to be that. Mm-hmm. So if, if communication is key mm-hmm. and, and um, a core part of your relationship to begin with, mm-hmm. then everything after that should be okay yeah. to talk about. It's just keeping everybody informed getting feedback doesn't mean you're going to agree mm-hmm. you may have to agree to disagree yes. on some things yes, yes. and and then the, compromise the, compromise because that's, that's what marriage is isn't respect, it compromise each other respecting yes. how the that's other right. feels that's and, right and truly when you really we talk about love not everybody loves the, the partner that no, they're married they to i'll tell you that no, but that's when right. you do love your partner you automatically will say okay this is the whomever yes mm-hmm. and so let me see if i can feel the heart mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. And absolutely say, okay well let me i may say no right now no. Yes. And then we walk away and say, okay, let's think about right, this. Right. How does this look? Right? Right. Yeah. And, so and put let's ourselves in their shoes. Together. Put, put our, ourselves in their shoes. Plan together. But that's it. And it has to be together. Yeah. It cannot just be our plan. Yeah. Now look, let me tell you something. Uh, this is my house or yeah. I, you farm me here or whatever. Yeah. And my, no, you are a unit yeah. uh-huh. and that's how, how it has to be conducted. Yeah. So everybody has to be respected. And that even goes with it, rather it be my house before we got married yes. or yours. Yes. Mm-hmm. Together, or a house we built under together. One roof, right. we're married. That's right. I don't care who had it first. That's right. Mm-hmm. We are married and yeah. this is the roof this under is our roof and this is what we're going to talk about collectively. Absolutely. I don't want to talk about this is my house, your, what's your sister or mom or somebody Amen. in there. Uh-uh. That's right. We That's are right. married exactly. and we're doing it together. So when we talk on that union, yeah. We, we talk, yeah. Whatever, whatever, whether you say you can pay the mortgage or not, I don't care. Whatever agreement couples make. Right. Whether you cook, you don't. Whether you pay lights or you don't, doesn't yeah, matter. You're right. Whatever we as a union yes. decide on, that's what we decide on. Whether you like it or not, Powerful. Powerful. don't worry about people. Powerful. So we have Powerful. to say together, you know what? This is under our roof now. That's right. Okay, yes. you bought it 10 right. years ago. Yes. You right. chose me, so it's our roof. It's our And this room. is what's going to go on under our roof. Yes. It's what's yes. called the matrimonial. Matrimonial. Home. Thank you. Home. Thank you. Okay. And certain rules apply. Yes. And that being said, I think too that the people who are coming into the house yeah. as the mm-hmm. guests mm-hmm. Yeah. have to respect. Absolutely. You don't have it, so some people they don't like their 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 son's wife or their daughter's husband or what. Mm-hmm. You don't have to like them. Right. You're living in their house right. now. Whether that was my uh, son's house first. Yeah. I'm not. This, trust me, this hasn't happened with me. I'm just saying. Yes. that was my son's house. Oh, she's sort of, oh, I was there. I used to live this way. Raise my yeah, children, whatever. Yeah, no. His, he has a wife now. Yes. she has a husband that is now. The priority. And that's the priority. And you have to understand and respect, respect that. that you are a guest in their home. And the partners also have to respect. So if I can speak, we can speak for ourselves. If our mother or dad yes. came on our roof, yes. we, it is our due diligence yes. to Hello. make sure that and you that are not offending yes. my husband. That's right. Exactly. It's not exactly. that I love exactly. you any less, That's right. but exactly. what yeah. you're not going to yeah. do is yeah. disrupt my I union. I got it. I got it. Because, exactly. because his mother and father is not going to disrupt That's mine. Right. That's, That's right. right. That's right. We have and, to keep and, it. And, and the, the, everybody has to, has yes. to be respectful yes. all yes. Yes. Because yes. that's how, how relationships end up falling Absolutely. apart. Because somebody disrespected someone. Or someone perceived that they were disrespected. Perception. Right? And the communication wasn't had. That's or right. Or received. Or received. Are we back to communication. The investment. So we have to. The investment, Tina. <laughs> yeah. The investment. I love that. Because I mean, I hear investment. I think money. It's not just money. No. It's it's time. Yes. It's energy. It's yes. everything yes. that goes It's looking for what's what is what is the outcome? Yes. Yes. What result am I looking for? The R O I. Yeah. What, when yes. I'm planning for something, right. I'm planning for something great. Absolutely. So in order for me to get that yes. thing next year, yeah. I'm going to have to put five dollars aside a week yeah. so that yes. I can have that big celebration yeah. at the end. Yeah. So Same whatever thing. we invest in these Same relationships thing. and marriages, yeah. We're looking to get out. Ladies. Yes, ma'am. It has been an absolute pleasure. It we, is. we could go on and on. We can. We, because we have a lot of experience yeah. in this field, yeah, yeah. right? So relationships after 50, they're, it's, they're coming. Whatever age you are, they're coming and they're going yeah. to be different. Yeah. yeah. So be dirty. prepared. You, we so were, were we just 30 the other day. So be prepared for relationships after 50 and all that it brings, all the changes that come with it, all of the growth that comes with it yes. and what I've taken from it, final words, communication. Communication, be whole with yourself first. Be whole with yourself first before you get involved with yes. someone else. Final and words. And if you're not whole with yourself along the way, work on becoming whole individually so that you can collectively yes. be a nice whole package. Oh, because yes. it's going to be so beautiful. Absolutely.
You have been watching Grown Folk Talk with Patrice, my guest, Larie Shiel, and Tina Laws. Thank you, ladies. Thank, thank you. You're quite thank welcome. Thank you, thank you. Thank I you for enjoyed this yes. girlfriend yes. chat. Yes. 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 Indeed. Come back and join us again for some more Grown Folk Talk.